Hey, CrossFitters, welcome back. It's Coach Bob here at CrossFit Glen Burnie. And today, yes, it is snowed, at least yesterday anyway. And we're going to jump in and see what does CrossFit have to say about shoveling snow? I mean, there could be some tips in there. And in jest, I would be interested just to see what's out there on the inter internet. So come along with me. Let's go jump into this snow drift and see what we can learn together. One, two, three. All right, jumping in. I did a little search. It was pretty easy. I said uh, CrossFit snow shoveling. And uh, this is what I found. So first thing I found that caught my attention was this post that CrossFit Lock 60 put together. And uh, they have a complete look and what you're going to be thinking about when you're shoveling snow. Of course, we're going to start with a warm-up, guys. Shoveling can be a vigorous activity, so warm up your muscles for 10 minutes. With light exercise before you start shoveling, think air squats, glute bridge raises, lunges, and good mornings. Have you warmed up before you shoveled snow? All right, watch out for those ice patches and uneven surfaces. Dress appropriately. Wear light layered uh, water repellent clothing to provide ventilation and insulation. All right, I uh, can highly recommend layers, guys. I think it's really important because once you start getting moving, you're going to warm up. And just like in a CrossFit workout, the hoodies are coming off. All right, we're listening to our body. A work will get us warm. Start early, clear snow early and often, especially during uh, a large snowfall. Yeah, I can understand that because then it's a lighter load. A lighter load, more reps versus heavy loads. Smaller number of reps. Oh, so heavy. Lift with good form. Push big amounts of snow if possible so you don't have to uh, bend over and uh, lift it. Squat, lift with your legs, uh, glutes, core tight and all that. I do think that helps. Uh, watching, Watch for the twisting. Uh, get your whole uh, core and hips involved in that uh, uh, movement. And uh, use a correct shovel, build a snowman, and have an adult beverage or some hot chocolate to relax afterwards. Okay, let's see what else is out there. I did come across a video which demos uh, some CrossFit shoveling. We're going to put a 45 pound weight on one end of the bar. Ooh. And we're going to pretend like we're shoveling. That's a lot of snow. 45 pounds. That's so like 90 pounds. Time, and we're going to move it over a 24 pound oh, barrier. Good golly. Now, that is pretty functional right there. Look at how much you have to use your back on this movement. And I have seen people lifting uh, snow, shoveling snow, and they look just like that. I don't think we're going to be putting that into a workout though. Uh, and then the last thing I have here is uh, CrossFit math, math, mass. <laughs> Sorry, CrossFit mash, math, <laughs> CrossFit mass. All right. Uh, so they got a lot of snow uh, when they posted this, and uh, they were said, you know, it, it it's annoying. It slowed us all down as we tried to get out and about, right? But it didn't bother you as much. You didn't look outside and say, I can't move this snow. I'll have to call someone. I can't go anywhere until I get help. Nope. You probably just put on your boots, grabbed a shovel, and started working. That's what we did. And, uh, you know, all your muscles start to burn. It feels good. Great workout. Guys, you know what? When the going gets tough, we get going, right? So thank you guys so much for checking in uh, today. I'm wishing you absolutely the best. Stay warm, stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you in 2022. Bye-bye now.